What's up everyone? MikeBen96 here on behalf of Wohotech.com and today I'm going to demonstrate Google Cloud Print on iOS devices. So here I have my iPod Touch and Cloud Print will now work on iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. So if you have any of those you will now be able to use Google Cloud Print. And if you don't know what Google Cloud Print is, it's a feature that Google announced a while ago um, arriving on PCs and it allows you to print to your printer from just about any computer that you're on. Uh, pretty much makes your uh, like a USB printer wireless without having to buy a print server or other fancy software like that. So today or last week uh, Google launched cloud print for iOS devices and people have been trying to figure out how to get it to work and all because there is a, a few extra steps you have to take um, right now in order to get cloud prints on your iOS device. And so I'm just going to demonstrate it and show you how to get it working. So first of all, this will only work on PCs. If you have a Mac or a computer running Linux, you will not be able to use Google Cloud Prints on your iOS device just yet. Now the first step is you're going to need to make sure you have the beta version of Google Chrome. So we're going to open up settings and then scroll down to about Google Chrome. If you open that up, it will tell you your version number. So you can see I have version 9 point a bunch of stuff beta. Now I think the uh, current release right now is 8 Google Chrome 8 and then a bunch of numbers after that but it's 8 something so you want to make sure you have this number here 9 bunch of number beta if you do not have the beta version you're just gonna Google Google Cloud Print so I just type in Google Cloud Print and then one of the search results should be connected printer to Google Cloud Print you're going to click on that, and then here is the button, Download Google Chrome. That, If you download this, um, that will download the beta version, which is the version that is um, able to use Google Cloud Print. As soon as you have the beta version installed on your computer, we're going to go to Settings again, scroll down to Options, and then the settings window appears. We're going to make sure you're on the under the hood tab and you're going to scroll down all the way down to Google Cloud Print which is at the very bottom and if you've never set it up before you're going to see a button that says sign in to Google Cloud Print or something of that nature. So you're just going to sign in with your Google account and then you'll see these, these two buttons here disable Google Cloud Print and manage your print settings. Right now you don't need to worry about those. So you could close out of that. Okay. So if you go back to your search results for Google Cloud Print, the third option should be connect a printer to Google Cloud Print. It is actually not the same link as the first one. It is the same page, but you want the third one. It's a different link. It will take you to a different page. So we'll click on that. All right, and you should see a page that's a little different than this if you've never used Google Cloud Print before. It will be a page that shows you all your printers and will allow you to set certain settings. And as soon as you set all your printers up, uh, you will then see this page which allows you to print a test page to make sure everything is working and if you print a test page and it prints successfully then you have Google Cloud Print set up so we are done with that so we're gonna go over here maybe not quite here to my iPod I'm going to show you how to use Google Cloud Print. Now currently, Google Cloud Print is only available in Google Docs when you are in a 
um, a document. They call it document. Uh, it's really like a Word file. But Google Docs refers to it as document, which is basically like a Word file. So I'm going to open up Safari. And we'll go to Google Docs. Here it is. Okay. All right, so I am in Google Docs. This is the main page. I'm signed into my account. It's very important that you're signed into the same account that you set up Google Cloud Print uh, over here in Google Chrome on your PC. It's very important, otherwise it's not gonna work. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open a document or a Word document. Um, so you can either make one from this new button over here. Whoops, what did I click? Click on that new button right there to make a new document. Or if you already have an existing one, you just open it up. All right, and here is my Word document. So, say I wanted to print this. This arrow here, or it's a double arrow. I'm gonna let the camera focus. This double arrow right here, if you click on that, it'll bring a drop down menu and the option is print. Just click on that, and then you receive a list of printers. This is a list of printers that are all installed on the PC that you set up Google Cloud Prints on. So I'm just going to select a printer here, and the printer that you select will um, get a shading, and then you can select certain options like change the orientation, change how many copies you want to print, and then change whether it prints in black and white or grayscale. I'll just leave all the settings to the default. Once you select your printer down here, you're going to click on the print button. And then it'll say creating new print job, and then print job added. And there you hear my printer going. It's printing out the document. Alright, and there it is. If you can see that. There you go. It's a very small document. I didn't have much in there. Just a few random things I typed in. But that is Google Cloud Prints and how it works and how to get it set up if you want to use it. Uh, currently it is in the beta, so everything may not work and you may experience some bugs uh, depending on your operating system or the type of device you're using. So don't expect it to work right off the, hand, right off the bat. Uh, just give it some time until they release the final version. Um, it's so new that they didn't even release Google Chrome 9 yet. It's only You can only get Google Chrome 9 if you uh, download it manually. So that is Google Cloud Print. So to stay updated on all the technology news, remember to head on over to www.wohotech.com. W-O-H-O-T-E-C-H.com. Until next time, have a good day.